Hey what's up YouTubers and welcome to K-Tech Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to make a secondary streaming PC. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going, to I'm going to explain to you exactly what it is and I'm going to go into detail on how to exactly set it up. Uh, so let's get started. The first things first are your new streaming PC specs. Uh, now the big thing about your streaming PC is that the only thing it really does is encode. Uh, so it takes footage from your main gaming computer and then it compress not compress it encodes it and then it sends it off to the internet uh, so for this one uh, I recommend having a, a high-end quad core or a high-end 8 core uh, so AMD or Intel uh, it's really your choice I'm not gonna suggest anything but this is just like a you know like a concept build for you guys this is the i5 2500k It's a pretty standard one it's a pretty good CPU and it can sure it can encode footage easily uh, now you really something that's really important is make sure that your CPU and motherboard combo are really good. You're gonna have to do research on it by yourself uh, to see what the best combo is. Uh, the memory doesn't really matter. I'll, you should have. It's pretty much a requirement to have eight gigabytes. Uh, don't have any less than that. Uh, you can go more. It's really up to you. But eight gigabytes is like the sweet spot. Uh, make sure that your power supply is a 800 plus bronze, uh, 80 plus bronze certified. Uh, it's like certification and you you wanna you know it doesn't hurt to go silver either uh, so that's pretty much the basic computer parts you need to build to make the computer uh, one more thing you you are going to need is the Aver media recorder uh, a capture card basically uh, this is the best one on the market right now for people that stream uh, it's 1080p 60 FPS uh, it's amazing uh, it costs $180 uh, what it does is basically it takes the picture from your gaming PC and then gives it to your streaming PC. Uh, you do need this in order for this to work, so just keep that in mind. Uh, your build will come in, I don't know, a decent streaming build will come in uh, at around $500. A really high end uh, streaming build will come in around, I would say, $700, $800. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You will have to make it by yourself. I'm not suggesting anything because everyone prefers something different. Uh, but I would say that the 2500k is in the sweet spot. Uh, before we go for, oh, wrong tab. Uh, depending on the type of mic you have, I'm assuming that you want your audio to be transferred. Uh, if you have a USB mic, this is not going to be useful to you. But if you have like a mic that uses the 3.5 millimeter uh, jacks, uh, you're going to need to get a splitter for those uh, to split your signal, to split your to split sorry <laughs> to split your microphone signal to your secondary PC uh, because uh, they're not going to hear you over HDMI uh, so uh, the problem is that if you have a USB microphone like the one I'm using right now uh, you're gonna have to buy an audio compressor uh, it, it controls all the audios from everything uh, they range from hundred and fifty dollars to sixty dollars uh, you will have to choose them by your own. I don't have any experience with them uh, because I don't stream with a USB headset. It's much simpler to use uh, a microphone splitter. Uh, one other way that you can stream your audio uh, without any like hardware is using a chat service. And I'm going to explain that later. Uh, so if you have all these parts, these two basic parts, well, the streaming PC and the capture card, I'm going to go to the process of how it's actually set up and done. Uh, so you will have to pay attention. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, don't get, ignore this PC right here and don't get, you know, like, concerned by what it looks like. Uh, it's super simple. Uh, so let's get started. I'll explain it, just follow my cursor. This is your gaming PC, alright? So I'm assuming you know how a PC is set up and you're going to take the HDMI cord from your streaming PC and you're going to give it into an HDMI splitter. I'm sorry I didn't mention that earlier, but I should have. Uh, an HDMI splitter costs about, I would say, twenty dollars. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, this one is great. It's very highly uh, reviewed, uh, so make sure you get this. I'm sorry I didn't mention it earlier. Uh, so you're gonna get an HDMI cord from your gaming PC and put it into a splitter. One split is going to go into your monitor, so you can actually see while you're playing a game, and another split is gonna go to your Aver Media Capture Card in the back of your streaming PC. So it's right here. Uh, so once it's back there, you're gonna open up, you know, OBS. I'm assuming you know how to do this stuff. I'm assuming you know the basics of streaming, and you're just gonna set it up to make make it the source and stuff. Uh, now, the part with the audio comes in. The audio is surprisingly the most complicated thing. The video is not that complicated. Uh, so like I said, there are three ways: either using a a 3.5 millimeter jack to split your 
to split. Oh, it's not even here. A 3.5 millimeter jack to split your microphone audio. Buying an audio compressor, uh, which is probably the thing that's going to produce uh, the best quality. Uh, or you can chat over a voice communication service. Uh, so you can use uh, Skype, you can use Curse, you can use TeamSpeak, you can even use the Steam Chat if it lets you. Uh, whichever one you choose that has the best quality. So basically what's going to be happening is that you're going to be talking into like, like how you normally do and then your audio is going to come out into this PC, into the Steam software or something let's say. Uh, and then OBS is going to hear that because uh, OBS cannot hear uh, your voice audio from the HDMI cable. Uh, it, it just doesn't work. It's going to it it ruins the, it ruins the setup for you because there is a way that you can possibly make your audio come through the HDMI cable and that is by playing your audio out loud into your uh, by playing your audio out loud uh, into like your computer so basically every time you speak you're gonna hear your voice but there's gonna be a millisecond delay which really messes up your speech uh, just to show you what that what I mean I'm gonna go show you how it's actually done uh, if you want to do it this way. Uh, right click on your micro right click on your speakers go to recording devices right now I'm on my uh, my blue stoneball microphone so if I just click if I click on that go to properties I can go to listen and I can listen to this device so as soon as I do this my voice gets transferred over the HDMI cable so let's do it right now all right so now I'm talking like this it's very it's weird. It messes with my speech. It freaks me out, and it would definitely ruin my gameplay if I was doing it like this. Uh, but if you're okay with this, uh, you can also do it this way. And this way, you won't need to talk over a software to the other computer or over like a splitter or audio compressor. All right. Uh, now that's pretty much done. This router you can ignore. Uh, you have to make sure that both of your computers are connected via Ethernet. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it seems complicated, but it's actually not that complicated uh, if you actually know what's going on. Uh, pretty much how everything is, I guess. Uh, yeah, you will use a lot of electricity, so whenever you're not streaming, make sure your second PC is off. Uh, and if you want to see how to stream in 1080p 60 FPS, check out my other video. I explain in depth on how to do it in OBS. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and if you did, please leave a like. Uh, and that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.